In this sample, you're going to see how you can very easily print the contents of a grid to a beautiful print preview window and export the contents of a grid to a binary compatible Excel spreadsheet. So you'll notice here I have a grid which is simply just data bound um, to a data set. I'm going to go ahead and run it. You can see it just has some basic features like Outlook Group By, so I can actually group columns, um, etc. I can do some sorting and etc. Then there's a couple buttons that I added that really don't do anything. So I haven't written any code for this grid. It's just flat out data binding. So in order to get the grid to print, first off we need to add um, a couple controls um, to the grid itself. So the first one is going to be the ultra grid print document. So this is a non-visual component that has an important property called grid which basically says what grid do you want me to print so we want to print out the customers ultra grid and then the second uh, important control that we want to uh, bring on to the form is the ultra print preview dialog so now the ultra print preview dialog is another non visual control that takes a print document as a parameter so I want to go ahead and print the ultra grid print document and pretty much that's all I need to do I need to write one line of code though so let's go ahead and I'm going to say ultra print preview dialog one dot show dialog. So now that's just going to automatically bring up our print dialog. If I go back to design mode, uh, let's go ahead and set up the export to Excel. There's a single non visual component called the ultra grid Excel exporter. Let's add this to the page. It ends up down in the um, display area at the bottom of the uh, visual studio. So it's a non visual component again and this component takes a parameter of the grid that you actually want to export so what I can say is ultra grid Excel exporter one dot export and now it wants to know what it should export the grid name the file name just the grid it'll automatically pop up the Excel spreadsheet um, in a binary compatible form I can do a workbook I can do a worksheet I can do a workbook with a start row and a start column and I can do a worksheet with a start row and a start column so let's go ahead and tell it to use um, customers grid and I'll say customers ultra grid and let's export it out to C colon backslash um, test.xls like so and I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna bring this up immediately after it exports so I'll do process.start and I'll pass it this file name and then it's gonna look at the file association and then uh, pop up the correct application with it so let's go ahead and hit F5 notice just a couple lines of code so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and print my grid so you'll see here I brought up a nice print preview dialog um, much nicer than what you have in the standards window preview dialog I have a thumbnail tracker on the left hand side I can do things like zoom in and zoom out of the data inside the grid one of my favorite features of this is the snapshot tool so let me um, you know pretend that I have to send some data off in an email real quickly I'll grab the snapshot tool select the area of the grid I want a snapshot of it just copies that as an image of the clipboard so just like that really one line of code a couple property settings I have a beautiful um, print ready grid I can also customize the header and footer and add other objects to the grid as well um, there is a schedule print component as well so if you're doing um, schedule documents uh, you can do that as well with the same preview dialog second one is export to Excel so let's just go ahead and pop Excel up so you'll notice here Excel fired up um, I have all of the grid data nice and formatted inside of the grid so this is exactly the data that's in the grid now it's in Excel I can pretty much do whatever I want with let's close this out and do something a little fancier let's do a group by with Excel click export again and now you'll notice that uh, the same formatting that the grid had comes right over so all of the grouped areas are maintained so this is very nice, very convenient, a very uh, great way to give your users a lot of flexibility in either printing or displaying in Excel so they can manipulate the data even further. So in this demo you saw you can export to Excel and do printing with a couple property settings and a couple lines of code. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.